Hey guys, Jamie here today on Roblox. We're playing small Lumion like it, as you can see on the screen. And today, I'm going to go over every single new Lumion that is in Route 8 or the UMV update, and also explain how to get them, what level you can get them at, or what item you have to use to exactly like evolve them. So then, before we actually jump into it, I want to mention like two things. One, Mabel's Rat, also. Uh, the new route that we saw in like the storyline, you might have clicked through it, so you might not actually have read the text. I want to mention because some people did that. You can't get Mabel's rat in this update. We might get it like a later date, but right now we cannot get it. If you actually didn't read the text, it basically they talk about saying, "Hey, I've never seen this little meme before. It must be super rare." And they actually don't give it like it's an official name. It just Mabel basically just nicknames it. Uh, I forgot actually what it was called, but we I can't get it in this update. And also, uh, Lumi. Pedia 110 is also not in this update. Some people think it's like a pufferfish for the evolution or like a split evo. Uh, all I can say right now is that it just isn't in the game right now. That'll probably be in a later update. So yeah, with being said though, every other Lumion, let's go on to them then. So starting off with, I guess we'll start with Goppy. Goppy can find just pretty commonly in probably like every patch of water. It's going to be probably like Twilight. But right now you can find it in Route 8, just as a very common Lumion, and you can also find it in Route 2, where Chesmer Town is, where you go to the bridge. There's also a patch of water there, you can also just um, fish there, and you can also commonly find Goppers. To evolve it low, you actually need to have an item, which a lot of people actually don't know, and a lot of people have loved up to like the max. To evolve it, you need this glimmering scale. This is in the UMV diving area. Also, you want to go down there and mine. They're a little bit uncommon, I've only got a couple of them so far, but yeah, that is how to evolve a Goppy into, I'm going to mispronounce this completely wrong, but Arapaigo. I'm probably going to butcher a lot of these names, I should mention that. Next up is actually all of the four fossils. We have all of the pre are called Pike, Zalio, Dobo, and Kogo. Again, I'm going to pronounce a lot of these wrong. For all these ones, they're all fossil lumens. You can get all of them in the UMV area. Once you also go down and dive, you also get a free dive every day. But it's a little bit different. Of like, I guess you would typically have it in like Pokemon. All of these fossils are split into three different parts. So you have an A, a B, and a C. So for example, we have the, what's the easiest one I can show? We have the Petrolyph Marrow A, the Petrolyph Marrow B, and the Petrolyph Marrow C. Once you actually get like one of all three of these, you can go over to this table where this NPC is, and you can basically just drag them in. And once you also do this, and you just like complete the fossil, then it will um, complete it, it press done, and it will revive your Lumion. I'm not going to do it because I'm kind of saving these for right now since I don't have too many. But that's basically how to do those. And once obviously done that, you've got them. But to evolve them into their final evolutions, uh, so Pike will evolve into a Skellic at level 30. Zalio will evolve into Zoloth, or Zol Zol Joltooth, I think is what it is, at level 30 as well. Dobo into Infernix level 30, and Kaigo into Dorogo. A level 30. So all of the fossils are level 30. A lot of people are confused about that. But yes, it is all level 30s. Next up is going to be a Wild Owl. For this one, it is in the patch of grass on Route 8. Just any patch of grass. It's not in the water, even though there are like Wild Owl's um, lily pads. It actually isn't on water. It is in any patch of grass, but it is, I think, the route rare, so it's a little bit uncommon to find. So, yeah, there's in here. Also, there are Terraflies and Florence in the wild now as well on the specific route. Um, once you get it, level up to 38. That'll be when you can evolve it into Mawamurk. Again, I'm terrible at pronouncing these, but yeah, it's a really, really cool Lumion. Definitely one of my favorites for this update. Next up is Ampol, which again is in the same patch of like grass areas on Route 8. It's a, a pure electric type. It's actually really, really cool. It's actually this thing. This is, my, this is personally my favorite Lumion in the update. I just love it. It reminds me of like a pot of greed. Let me know in the comments down below, by the way, what is your favorite uh, Lumion in this update. But yeah, once you catch it low, once you get to level 20, it will evolve into Amphibiton. And then once we get Amphibiton to evolve it into... Meditoad, which is why I have, you need a Thunder Fruit. I actually don't have any because I just used it, my only one, but to get a Thunder Fruit, I believe it's level 34 in the Mastery. Do your Mastery, please. You get free, you get a lot of free stuff now, for like free boost tokens. You get a Saddle, which is also really, really cool. A lot of stuff, just do your Mastery. But yeah, once you get 34 in the Mastery, I believe, you get a free Thunder Fruit, and then you can buy some more in the, for, for BP in the Battle Coliseum. And that's it for Meditoad. For Pwuff, this is kind of like the rare for in the water on Route 8. So, kind of similar to Goppies, but they're a little bit more uncommon. 
and honestly kind of annoying to find. Once you get it low, to evolve it into a Blotox, I believe I pronounce it, it needs to be a minimum 25. Once it's like level 24, you can come ahead to Route 8, um, and you basically just need to be like an extra patch of water on Route 8. I don't know if it works for any other patches of water right now, but the only one that I do know it works on is Route 8. So there is an NPC over here that has a bad suntan, but also you can rebattle. I would definitely recommend if you're trying to evolve um, Quoth, use him. He's like right next to the water and he gives you a lot of XP. Yeah, because it might be the best XP trainer in the game now. So if that's how to evolve it, like any level above 24, so 25, 26, every time you level up, as long as it's near here, it will give you the option to evolve it. Uh, next up is Swimp. For Swimp, we actually have to go to Chesma Town um, because this one isn't in Route A. This is all the way back in Route 2 where the um, other like little pond is water areas that you can get your other um guppy location so once you go actually go over here to see where the bridge is um swimp is only found in this water right now um it's a little again it's like kind of like with puff it's a little bit uncommon but not super uncommon once you get to level 18 it will evolve into snapper and once it's level 32 it will evolve into its fully evolved version which is a garlash which is actually pretty cool i p definitely like that one and then last up but not least is the Roamer. This one's a little confusing where to start, but basically it is required in the UMV. So when you're down in the UMV area, I'll put screenshots up on screenshots up on screen because also I've already unlocked the Roamer on stream. But when you are <clears throat> mining in the UMV, there's a uncommon chance. It's not it's not super super rare. It's like fairly rare. But there is things called relics. They're basically circles, like a pattern on the between, like look like a coin that's like hollowed out a little bit. There are six different colors of them. So, for example, like there's a red one. If you get the red one in while mining, you cannot find another red one. They are key items. You cannot trade them. You have to get them yourself. So, but once you get the red one, you can't get a duplicate basically. So then you don't only five. But once you get all six of them, there is a secret door in there and once you actually go to it you can click on it and you can input all of the relics into the door once you put all of them in the door will open and then there is the roamer which i am going to try to pronounce and i believe it is called cephalops i think i got that one right so yeah that's the new roamer pvp wise it looks like it's going to be pretty nutty so in case you want to go for it there's that but yeah, that's basically how to do it, and also yes, you can actually soft reset Cephalops, similar to Mutagon and Metronet, so hey, if you want to go for the Alpha one, it's actually pretty easy, definitely would recommend it. But yeah, that being said, I believe that's all of the Lumians, I don't think I missed any, so right now in this update there are 21 new Lumians, uh, so with that being said, that's very nice, but yeah, also I'm going to leave the video off here now, hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, make sure to leave a like, it helps the channel out a lot, and with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.